your hands everywhere. As we give God a praise that is due to His name. Somebody just lift your hands and worship Him. Hallelujah. Right, guys um good morning good afternoon good evening depends on where you're watching from um how are you guys doing all right as you know i'm minister raf Husai, and uh, i am a musical producer i am a musician full-time musician and um, i love jesus so I'm going to be doing something today. I'm going to be teaching you how to produce a worship song. And this is going to be for, you know, beginners. Uh, if you know you want to learn how to produce or you're a producer, you you want, you want to really know how to produce worship songs, I think this is the right place for you to be because I'm going to take you step by step on how you can do that. So let's just jump in, and if you see on my screen, you'll see um, uh, you'll see this audio session. You see piano, you see drums, you see this is drums also, it's additive drums, and uh, let me just give you a basic tutorial. Uh, I think I should start all afresh again. So I'm going to delete all this going to delete all this this one I'm not going to take this off because I always keep it there uh, because I've mixed the drums and all that so I always keep that there so I'm going to delete all this one and leave that one so normally it's supposed to be just a fresh empty page so I'm going to what your first thing to do the first step to do is uh, you right click on this empty box here you right click and uh, you want to create an audio track you see audio track you you left click and uh, you see the stereo you don't want to mix a song you want to record a fresh song so if you're mixing a song then that's when you can do stereo and all that but if you're going to create a fresh song you don't want to make your voice the the, the the vocal stereo no they have to be uh they have to be on mono you see this mono you click on mono then you press ok and you see you created your track and you can just say you name this one lead vocal lead vocal then you create another one or you can duplicate that one so you can just duplicate this one you can still create the first the way i did it the first time so but if you don't want to just start going here and start going to this place again uh, though it's, it's still on mono but the easiest way to do that is you just click on it and you see duplicate track okay so it gives you the same thing but a copy is a copy of it shows you a copy of yeah of voca so what you do you do um maybe you want to do a soprano track for soprano singers so you say sop yeah sop voca sop backup yeah sop backup then you duplicate again you 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 edit it you go uh, uh, auto back up you duplicate again you go turn on back up i think that's the main the major threes the major three we have and um your next thing to do is you're going to create what we call a group 
a group channel so that you'll be able to control all the volumes all the infect you don't have to go one after the other no 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 you just control everything in one group so we're going to create a group for them so you see hard group track you click on that one so this one will have to be sterile you create another group for group channel group group track uh, track you create create this one for so this one is let's say lead vocal where you can mix them then this is backups so backup singers all right which is the um soprano auto and tenor yeah so now lead vocals can be two because uh, so you can say i will explain that to you now you can say lead vocals lead vocal two lead vocal two yeah so and first thing you want to do now after creating your first and uh, second vocal and all this so now all these vocals you see the lead this is these are leads yeah lead vocal lead vocal you take it to um you take it to what's it called you send it if you're a mixing engineer you should know this but if you're not like i said for beginners this is for beginners you have to now send your lead vocals to the group because this way you're going to mix them okay so you send the lead vocal right now you send you see this place this is the place you're going to do that you see this place said left in yeah then output stereo so output you're going to put you see the group then you send it to lead vocal so it's here now already you come here you see this one same thing output no you take it to lead vocal you see if i want it to be on the on the backup sing singers it will go on the backup singers yeah so it's going now to i'm going to correct that thing it's supposed to be singers so it's going back to yeah lead vocal so now i want to send to the let me correct this first uh singers so um yeah uh-huh so i want to send i have those two already now on what's it called the two lead vocals on this one already so if i'm going to record on this one for instance now let's just try something here you see it will pop in out here so let's try now i'm going to record now yeah yeah sorry who will stand against the lord no one can no one will who will stand against the king no one can no one will so let's see how this is going to come out what happened you record uh come again who will stand against the lord no one can no one will who will stand against the king? No one can. No one will. So let me play back. Then you see it's going to come out from here. From this one. Yeah. So let's see now. Who will stand against the Lord? You see it's coming out from here. No one can. And it's coming out from here. No one will. You see this volume is too loud. So let me just take it back. Here you can control the volume. Take it back a bit. So... Now let's try again. Who will stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. See, it's coming out from this time place here. Yeah. So let's let's do an experiment now. 
uh, I'll go back here. I want to remove it from the, uh, what's it called? From the group. Now see, I'm going to take it back to Stereo. You see, it's not going to come out from this place anymore. Let's try again. Who will stand against see, the Lord? See, it's just from here now. No one can. No one will. All right, so we're taking it back to lead vocal. So it's going to come in from there now. Who will stand against see, the Lord? So that's the first step. So you do the same thing for sub backup, auto backup, and uh, tenor backup. So I'm going to take this off. And um, so let's send this first. You come to this place, remember? Group, backup singer. Come to the next one, group. Yeah, backup singer, the last one, group back up singer so when you record on all this one you're going to come out from here because this is a place you're going to um mix your vocals all right um so now the next thing to do is what song are we going to work on and i'm going to work on um uh what's it called this song uh um, I'm no longer a slave to fear, for I am a child of God. That's what I'm going to work on now. And uh, so let's go and check for a piano. So you right click here. You, yeah, track, hard track. So this is where you add the track. You had the track on all these boxes. So you add track. We want to do what we want to add an instrument track. You click on it. Then you click on this middle here. Then these are all the instruments available here on Kubase that I'm using. So uh, no, I'm going to take from my best keyboard from. My best piano, sorry, from Helion One, and um, I'm going to name it Piano. Piano. So when you name it, then you come, you come here to Edit Instrument. You click on this place. You can see it's already there because that's my favorite. You see, Piano. And this is the piano I use, Yamaha S9OE. So S90ES piano. That's what I use. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to appear on see that's it now. And um nothing else, just close and you have your piano set already. So let me play the piano so you hear how it sounds. So that's how my piano sounds, and um, yeah, so that's the piano we're going to be using for this song, and uh, let's go back to Helion so we can get maybe a strings, no, this is basic, I'm not going to give you, or let, let, let me just check for a pad we can use, let me just give you professional professional what's it called professional um instrumental but for a beginner I, I would have just said okay let me just go with uh, um let's just duplicate this because i'm going to use alien so you can just name this part yeah then remember you come here to edit so let's just check for part. So all the parts are going to pop up. So you just begin to check which one you like that can go with the song you want to produce. So let's just try this one. This does not sound good. Now. Now. 
let's reduce the volume a bit. So you can still reduce from your keyboard, from your piano or whatever. So this one sounds good, but not this one. I'm not really satisfied for me with this. So you come down again. Now, this one is not too bad. So something like this, an atmosphere, that's what we need. So this is analog. Something like this is cool. So uh, let's use analog part. Then what you do is, uh, you see the volume of this one and the volume of this. So make sure your keyboard volume is okay. Then um, try your piano first. I think it's too loud. So let's bring it down from your screen, not from the keyboard. Just leave your keyboard the way the volume is because when you try to control from here, sometimes it can destroy your work. So you um, leave your volume for your keyboard. You control the volume from your screen. Okay, I think this volume should be alright. So always watch this place. If you see where my mouse is, always watch here. Because if it's too loud, you see it clipping. And you don't want it to be too loud because of mixing and all that. So let's go. This is the uh, piano volume. And uh, I think it's good with my mic because my mic is not too loud. So it has to be in the same range or you know, below the mic a bit. So let's check the part if it can if it can go with it. From my mother womb, you have chosen me. You love us, call my name. So this is what we want, yeah. Okay, this is what we want. You see the part. You see the atmosphere. From my mother womb. You have chosen me Your love has called my name I've been born again Into your family Your blood flows through my veins Okay? So that's just um, Just for you to know how it sounds so I think the volume for the part should be all right, or we can just reduce a bit, but we really need the atmosphere, okay? So you'll be wondering why is it still making and all that. I have a sustain pedal, remember? So I know you, I believe you know what sustain pedal is. So let's go back to um, how we can start the song. So we have part, we have uh, keyboard, uh, I mean, sorry, piano, and uh, we have our backup singers, we have our lead, the two lead. You, you see, I have to explain to you why we have two lead vocals here. So, this one is main lead, I have to name it main lead vocal. So, this is where you lead the song. So, main lead vocal, and this is maybe you want to put some, you know. Um, echo effect to what you're doing. Um, you see when when you say, "Aka aka ya," yeah, you, you you get the response. Ak, you, you, that is your voice repeats. You know, "Aka aka ya, aka aka ya." So you understand. So that's the effect. So this we're going to name this vocal two. So effect. All right. So not not just for that alone though. You can create as many, uh, what's it called, as many lead vocal, uh, I mean, as many track for lead vocal if you want, because sometimes you, you when you're recording, you just want to 
make your recording start going so that you won't, you know, bother yourself um, trying to record um, just after your clip and all that. So you just create some other vocals. So what I just do, I just create two. Even I put, if I put on the on the infet uh, vocal, um, I can still push it up. So it's very simple. Let's say we record now. Let's just record something again. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's go. So you see, I can push this up. So it's very simple. So you don't have to create as many. So you can always push up, you know, adjust it, you see. So that's why I just, I normally create just two main vocals. So that's it. And um, now I want to create... Um, we want to create a pad. I mean, sorry, we want to create a loop. So what I do is, uh, yeah, I'm going to give you basic. I don't want to go too far, so that it will be easy for you to just you know maneuver. So now I'm going to go to, so. So instrument track, uh, you click on this place. So there's additive keys, yeah. So there is one groove. You see this uh, drum groove agent, blah blah blah. So yeah, you can get loops and know that. But uh, I I like using purity to create my loop. Mm. So I don't want those because this one you you. You sometimes you just you you need the life, the life stuff of this one. You see, some people they have their pad. I don't have that one, so let's not talk about that one. So let's go to purity. Uh -huh. Purity. Press OK. So purity is just is also keyboard samples. Um, keyboard sound. So what do we want to do? We want to do a loop, yeah. Loop. Uh huh. Then you come to edit. Always come to this place if you see. It will just give you the natural sound. That's not what you want, yeah. You don't want this. You want to create a drum loop. So you go to dr uh, loop. You see drum loop. That one you just you can get some inbuilt loop. It's co just gonna go directly to. Uh, directly with uh, what was it called? Um, um, your timing, your tempo, and everything you want. So, see, this is loop. Let's reduce the volume. This is one loop. It's on that loop. It's on that loop. It's on that loop. Another one. Another one. Down. So this one, if you if you maybe you <laughs> you are the lazy type and you don't want to you don't want to stress yourself too much, so you can just come here and pick any one that can go with your song. See this another one. This another one. Out of all these ones, you see, I can't use any one because they can't match my my song. So what do we do now? So let's come to drums, and from here we can get some tunes. So we can just use from here. You see, these are things you can use to create your worship loop. So I want to record now, and press key C. Yeah, press. Uh, you're gonna press key C for you to be able to hear the the uh, what's it called the timing and um, so let's start. So if you can hear that, um. Let me increase the volume a bit. Then I think that's what we're gonna use. 
so you can use So this is what we're going to start with first. So let's record. So now you want to, you see when musicians, they talk about bars, give bars, 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 you wonder what is this bar, bar they're talking about. So I'm going to show you what bar is, yeah? So all this line you're seeing here, all these are your bars. One, two, three, four. So this is your number one bar. One, two, three, four, two. One, two, three, four, three. So this is two bars now. All these you see here, they are two bars. So we start again. So uh, I'm going to quantize if you know what quantize is if you don't know what quantize is that's going to be for another tutorial because if i say i want to be showing you everything we will not live here today so or you can browse what quantize is so you just press kq press q and everything is going to go in line so that's quantize so these two you can see these two they are not in line these two here so you just copy the two push forward yeah copy the two of them you take them here take this one here so let's see now these two they are not corresponding so that's it yeah this is wrong so you can see this was too fast you have to listing carefully correct correct so this one has to go forward a bit correct correct wrong so sometimes you just have to copy this um, you, you press your alt key you drag it from here to this place so let's hear again so we have our first loop all right so let's start with the piano um let's just use put the part together and let's see how it sounds then if not we're going to use just the piano for the start for the start so listen to this make sure your clip is on yeah hear how it sounds i believe you already heard that sound yeah so i just turned off the clip yeah so i made a mistake here so you can just go in there and correct it or if not you want to play it again yeah fine so since we already have um, this tool like this so what you want to do is you can delete this off you can still move this one to this one it will sound for example you say i delete this one now so i can still bring this down here i copy it down you know and you see it still sounds the same way yeah so what you want to do is take this off you don't need this for now because you need to do some corrections yeah Let's correct this one. Let's correct this one. It's a mistake here. Uh, first, what to do is Q. 
you always remember to correct your 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 pitch <laughs> Uh, this is not correct so you see it's not on the line so you have to push it to the line uh, this is on the line this is on the line this one yeah you will need to hear out these sounds because sometimes your scale your passive chords yeah so or passive scale whatever so so you see uh -huh. You see, you see this place now? So you need you need something like this, yeah? So what you do is just to make it, you know, longer a bit so uh, it can sound nice. You see this one. Uh, mm -hmm. So you need this to definitely come here. So let's hear again. They are not in line. You need them to come on the line because it might sound nice to you right now, but during your mixing, you'll be hearing different kind of thing you don't expect. So some things will not be corresponding, and you don't want that. So so we need to correct this. Yeah, so so this ba -da -da, na ba -da -da -da. Ba -da -da. Ba -da. Ba -da. So that's what you need. So So now because you've correct this one, you corrected this one, so you need to bring your uh, what's it called? So it's the same thing, so you need to bring it to your what's it called your your part. So let's hear how it sounds now. <sighs> Sorry. Okay. Okay, so that's it. And... Um, if you don't want it to to be confusing to you sometime you just you can just do something like this and you change the color yeah you come to this place you can just change the color to this so that you know your piano and your pad is one color you can identify them with the colors yeah so what do you need now um now we need uh uh Maybe a bass guitar, yeah. We're supposed to do a loop first, but um, I think th either ways you can do it either ways. So let's check for bass guitar. So we can still get bass guitar from Helion also. So Helion, 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 instrumental. Helion, Helion. You can see some bass guitar from Nezos, but. We're going to be using Helion, yeah? 
so early on you go to this place you click here now you type bass guitar or you just type guitar guitar so different kind of guitar is going to come out here yeah? but you know what you want um guitar um now you're looking for a bass guitar there's electric acoustic guitar you see all the guitars they are coming out here um you just want bass guitar bass guitar bass guitar bass guitar bass guitar so it's going to be like electric guitar something like that um ba -ba -ba. the normal electric bass let's just go let's just go with this one um so we start let's hear see some people so let's name this um bass guitar now i want to teach you how to so you need this for your i want to do it an intro an intro for this songs yeah for this song i want to do an intro so um ba -ba 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 -ba. what you need now is Go. I watch this. So let's use the clip sound so I can get the tempo of the song. So I'm going to record now. So watch. So we have to correct them. Um, so let's correct all this. See, this place not in line. Take it forward a bit. Enlarge. Um, this one not in line. Forward a bit. Let's see again first. So, uh, control Z, let's see again. Let's just say that's our guitar. Um, that's not really what I would want to play if... Yeah, so I'm just giving you for example, yeah? If you listen to my song, you you see the sound professional. <laughs> yeah, so let's... Um, uh, huh, let's do... I'll try and make it brief, yeah? So let's do... Uh, another piano line to back up that piano up because this is an intro now yeah so let's just con um you delete this one because this is now a copy of piano yeah so i'm going to teach you how to you know edit your drums you know how to 
create a channel for your drums, how to separate your drums, how to create infects in your drums and all that. But for now, we're just going to do a raw, a raw stuff. Yeah. So this is drum, and I'm going to come to you. See this? Uh, I normally use this. Is it Tommy? Whatever. That's one I normally normally use because it sounds like a real drum. So let's go. So let's hear how that sounds. It might sound rubbish, but I can still edit. So, um, what you want to do now is arrange all this. You see, this is actually correct, but you want a snail to start your... So, to -to I need something to do, -to yeah? To -to no, no, no. Oh, yeah, you can do. So that's double kick. If you if you're a drummer, you know what this means, yeah. So, mm -hmm. Simba, so go. So you already use this as the main simba, so we can just look for a lighter simba. So this is a light one, so let's go. So this is yeah. So this is your two 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 two. Uh you need some ayat a bit of ayat. So you can let's hear how it sounds. Or if you don't want to use that, you can use um, uh, Simba, the light one. You can use this Simba, yeah. So um, let's go. So this to push. Let's do three. To to push. So let's try and make it busy a bit. Um. So you see why you see the, the colors you see this one is very red all this white means th these ones they are very loud i'm going to balance everything later i'm just i'll show you how to balance them yeah so you see this they are very loud that's why you see the color is is too red it's telling you danger 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 so let's go again so now all this you need ayat for them please Ayat for them. So you need this or this. Let's go. Yeah, so.
so for you open ayat this is open ayat yeah so we're going to still make here busy a bit so you see the volume you need to increase this a bit so you can so progress right so we need, we need to still be very busy so this can come here So what you want to do here now is alight everything here yeah? and just <laughs> sorry for that sorry for that sorry 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 um what you want to do is after you've alight everything so you alight everything with control a then you come to you see this velocity then you bring them down you just screw down with your mounts you see i'm bringing the volume down you can see here right at the bottom they are on the same range yeah so let's just put on 80 let's see how it goes let's go so let's increase a bit let's start again Okay, so we have our drum for the intro, we have guitar, yeah, we have the keyboard and the pad, I mean piano and the pad, and um, let's, um, let's make the piano busy a bit, let's try and do something, yeah? So 
let's hear that. Um. So what you want to do is because um, let's just reduce the volume a bit. Um, so it won't be annoying. I guess you're enjoying it, yeah? <laughs> so let's work on this again. You can see too much things. So what do we do here? So this, you just, let's press the Q again. You see everything is gone in place. But still, you still need to hear to be sure they are on the uh, on the tune. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So that's what you need. That's what I need. Not you. That's what I need. <laughs> so um, I just hope this tutorial is going to help some people to create good music so now um what we need to do now is um, um hmm. yeah so i think now we need the loop now yeah on this make sure you always quantize for them to be in line so let's try so they are all in line they are all in line so let's what you want to do is um copy all this uh, so you just get the time you don't have to use the the click so you can just copy Two like this and drag <sighs> all production yeah that's what we'll do that's what we'll face all the time try to crack your head and to put things together so let's try again so I'm off my click now yeah let's listen to it Let me add my voice to it then let's see how it goes this is going to be the last thing to do today then maybe from another day i'm going to teach you how to you know balance and all that i'm going to give you on that tutorial some other time so please make sure you share this video somebody out there might need it yeah okay let's go Somebody lift your hands everywhere as we give God a praise that is due to His name. Somebody just lift your hands and worship Him. Hallelujah. Yes. Somebody lift your hands everywhere as we give God a praise that is due to His name. Somebody just lift your hands and worship Him. Alright, that's it. Till next time, still remain your man, Rough Sound. Please subscribe, share. God bless you. That's all I can do for today. Don't worry, I'm going to be coming and be giving you some tutorials, more tutorials on music production, worship music. God bless you. Have a nice time.